Hi everyone. So I was able to finally get this to work. Thank you to the suggestion of uh, one of my viewers who recommended that I would mount the distance sensor on a servo, have the servo rotate and take a different measurement. So right now I kind of 3D printed some parts. Then I have the uh, distance sensor up here. It's going to rotate, take uh, one left, one right, one, one straight and then make a decision on where to go based on those three readings. Now, I also kind of change a little bit of the mounting and these wires are just the hair of the robot because my robot needed some hair, so that's why. And yeah, I'll show you how that drives in action and I'll show you how everything works. So, so far, this is working just fine. Eventually, I will kind of clean up the code Make sure everything works just fine and have the have everything available for you uh, in case you want the code and if you want to implement this for yourself. So next, I'm going to turn this on and, uh, you know, let show you how it drives. And uh, yeah, it's, it's working just fine now. So let's go and uh, show you how that works. You see now it's not getting stuck anymore and it sees the walls even if it's in an angle it can still drive around them so You can see now it's not getting stuck anymore and eventually it still sees the walls and it can still get away from them. Um, it used to get stuck, especially in an angle. Now it can still see the walls and navigate through them without having me to get it unstuck. So thank you so much for the suggestion. That actually worked just fine. You see, it still goes in a straight line until it sees the walls, and that's when it changed the direction. You can see now it's not getting stuck and it's actually driving much better than it used to be.